Hi, welcome to another video about Audi A2. In this video, I will not do any servicing, but I will do an, a quick upgrade. Uh, and every owner of uh, 1.4 petrol Audi A2 knows how inconsistent is the oil dipsticks. If you want to check the oil, it shows once, I don't know, in the middle. Next time you just put it in back on, it's below minimum. This is because this is afterthought because um, it was me meant that the bonnet will not be open. So they put the old dipstick here in the front. But basically the uh, engine has still, uh, at least the early ones, still have the oil tunnel at the back. So uh, what I did, I bought this uh, new oil dipstick and this uh, plastic part that goes onto the uh, oil funnel that is uh, at the back and I will install this and let's see if this will be any better any more consistent it should be uh, I bought this uh, from Topran I will put the part numbers below in the video description and um, I needed to adjust a little bit this part uh, uh, because it was quite hard to put it back in and off but now after I sand it a little bit this part it's now okay so let's go to work let me show you where this part is. So this part is here. If we have uh, the engine here. And now if we go here, you can see here is a rubber part. This is not factory. There should be um, an orange uh, cover, plastic cover from a factory. But it looks like that somebody broke it. So they just uh, did it. Uh, they just used this rubber part here. And I will need to remove this and here uh, below here it starts that uh, metal funnel for the oil uh, dipstick and uh, the let me show you let me just take it so yeah this plastic part goes uh, yeah like this goes into this metal funnel and then you have oil dipstick here so let's start you can see here that it is very hard even if they are both from the same manufacturer it does not go easy so I really need to push it so I will just sand a little bit uh, this piece here so that it will be easier because now I can hold it but when it will be installed there it will probably break so I'll just sand a little bit uh, this piece here Okay, so now, as you can see, I have uh, sanded a little bit down this, uh, this edge. And now, if I test it like this, as you can see, it's much, much easier. No, not so much force is needed to push it in or to get it out. Maybe I will do a little bit more, but this is now much better. I will start by removing this uh, this uh, screw here. Just see if it will be easy or not. That's it. Yeah. So this is it. Now, no more. I need to unscrew it more. Uh, it's already okay it's already out so this is it and now I will yeah doesn't release yet so let me just try oh, I will need a Torx as it looks no ah okay it already went the rubber complete and here below you can see let me show you you can see this uh, just let me put this here you can see here this metal funnel okay so here this is for the dipstick and now I will take my plastic part this plastic part and I will just you see this is the upper side this is the lower side and I will just put it on like this okay and I need to put it uh, 
Let me just see. Yeah, it needs to go quite a lot down. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I cannot put it, uh, push it down. Okay. Just see this. Yeah. Maybe with a small hammer. I'll try with this, but not too much. Okay, no, it doesn't want to go in. Huh, probably I will need to remove this air tube. now it went a little bit but it needs to go more huh yeah let me just see this is it. Yeah. okay just take this out here this I took out okay let me show you so i took this was here fixed and i just took it out so that it's out and i will need to remove probably this uh, uh, air air hose so just a moment okay now i will try to remove this hose this air hose yeah, yeah. it's quite narrow brace so and yeah now as you can see the hose is removed this air hose is removed and now it will be much easier for me to push this plastic uh, down okay and it needs to go to the yeah okay more okay that's it i think that now it is fixed i'll try just again okay and this is it and now we can try to measure the oil level with this so i'll just put it in and as you can see it goes in and like this so now we have here here is the factory oil dipstick which is quite unreliable and here is now the okay let me take it out and let's see i've just replaced oil and as you can see it shows uh quite okay a, a little bit above minimum which is okay but uh, the car is a little bit slightly forward so this should be uh, nice i will just measure it again uh, let me just put it back in so like this okay it works and you take it out and again still it's here let me now just uh, clean it So as you can see the oil dipstick is now cleaned and let's see what will th this oil dipstick show that's it let's wait for a minute for a second to and take it out and as you can see just about minimum which is perfect so this means that it uh, the reading is consistent and that it shows correct and this is why I also decided for this as I said, I needed to um, uh, grind uh, a little bit this part around so that the oil dipstick went uh, nicely in. But this is this was not a problem. Uh, you can also order a factory 
factory or dipstick i will put the link uh, below uh, the part numbers for the factory and for this top run um, oil dipstick and this uh, plastic funnel i will put in the video description and uh, this is it Let, now i need to put back the air the air tube and everything so let's do it okay okay now i will put back the oil filter so i need to put it like here and of course you, you can see that it goes just uh, just around the oil dipstick because this is from factory the metal uh, funnel for the oil dipstick is here or at least on the older on the older um, uh, years of the audi a2 so let me put this back on this will be a little bit of a challenge okay so it's like here perfect and as you can see it's nicely shaped just around the funnel and of course i should not forget to put this back on so here you see it's this rubber part and you just put it on and that's it and now i will just put back on back in the old dipstick that's it so let's take again take a, another look so this is the factory dipstick that probably i will not use anymore and here is now installed the uh, aftermarket uh, dipstick but uh, for this engine this is ba basically the factory dipstick that uh, all other cars as polo fabia and every other car had and now i also have it and i can get a um, consistent uh, reading about the oil level and now a short addition <coughs> so uh, in between uh, that i retrofitted this second dipstick and the editing of the video i managed to buy the also the missing uh, rubber seal uh, it was not possible to get an aftermarket one so i just bought this one so this is a factory audi uh, seal it's 031154444 and uh, now let's see if this will be good anyway it should work also without this seal as you can see it, it's here but uh, i want to do everything okay so let's me let me take this out and here you can see here is a place for this seal so i will just put it in like this and now i need to push it up and over so this is it and the seal is nicely seated inside and it should provide a better seal so you can see it here and this is it so now as you can see before it was uh, hurt the click when it left uh, it uh, uh, this uh, dipstick went in but now the rubber seal nicely seals the spot this is it and this was it the aftermarket fact uh, oil dipstick is installed and now i will be able to get a, a really uh, dependable uh, reading uh, reading about the oil level so i'm quite happy and thank you for watching, drive safe and of course smile when you drive because driving is always fun. Bye!